Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Shabazz Game Boy Dumper. Um, so in the first step what you want to do is when you get the PCB um, you solder on the level shifter. Uh, the easiest way I found to do that, so while you can solder uh, the headers, uh, I don't really like soldering the headers on it because I think it's more nice and more flat without the header pins. So I soldered the um, the level shifters directly on the PCB and the way I do it, I put on the headers the wrong way so it's uh, held in place um, while I solder. And then I stick in the solder through the hole and kind of cut it with the soldering iron. Um, what you want to do is make sure that uh, the solder connection is good on the board so hold it like 10 or 15 seconds on the level shifter um, and then from the other side you also want to make sure the connection is uh, there. So here soldering the final uh, level shifter make sure to use enough heat so the solder melts and then from the other side we also want to just add more solder, make sure the um, the solder that is in there is melted through so you have a good connection. And um, yeah, let's uh, just finish this one up. And once you're done soldering, you can test the connections. Um, and what you want to do is like you just test if there's connectivity through the whole thing because if the connectivity goes through then um, that's a good sign that there is a solid connection to the board. So you hold the pin on the one side and on the other side and then if you get the peep and then you just test all the pins and if those pins um, have a good connection then you know it's fine. You may need to uh, put a little bit pressure on the solder points because um, yeah due, due to the way they're soldered. Next up what we want to do is we want to solder the Pico. We can again insert the jumpers but just to hold it in place and then just put on the solder, um, fix it on a couple edge points on the corners and then just put on the solder and solder it uh, on directly. So when we're done this is what it should look like. Yeah, you can see or maybe not see because of the camera but uh, yeah basically this is what it should look like when you're done but actually there is one more thing that you don't want to forget soldering and because you see the camera switched I totally did forgot so this is an after recording on the bottom on the back side there's one more thing you want to solder which is the test point so make sure you heat up the test point on the Pico, have enough solder in there and then basically fill in the whole thing um, with solder. Um, that's not strictly necessary, technically you just want to have uh, contact between the point and um, the, the ring but the best way to achieve this is just to fill the whole, the whole thing with solder blob. Now finally what you want to do is to solder the connector and here just use lots of flux. Don't be shy, um, use plenty of flux and then it should work out. Uh, while I recorded this I fucked up uh, twice um, but I decided to leave it in just so you know how to fix that up if that happens to you as well. So one one trick is to, to heat up the pads and then if there is too much solder to just like swipe it up the um, 
the pin. Here I had like a couple, like twice, two contacts bridged, so I had to uh, remove a bit solder. But here you can see I'm like swiping it up. So, um, yeah. Once that is done, again, camera view is a bit weird. Yeah, I think that is good. So you can see no bridges, uh, all are soldered. You can verify whether there's a connection between that and the uh, high voltage points of the level shifters. Um, I skipped it here, but just make sure it uh, looks good. So the next step is to solder on the switch and the pins of the switch are a from the one that I used are a bit tighter together than the cutouts. They're a bit further apart, but just bending them a tiny bit, you can squeeze it in. And then in order to hold it in place while you solder on the back side, you can uh, bend the um, connections back, like going outwards. So the, the tension holds it back in place. So it doesn't like go up uh, while you're soldering. I did a bit of a bad job here. So the ideal way to do it is to put on a tiny bit solder um, so that it holds. Then you can like cut out the um, the metal that is too much and then put a lot of solder and then it should be uh, held in place tiny. Be extremely careful not to bridge um, the contacts here because these are going to be the power rails and you can damage the Pico and potentially the card if you mess this step up. Just make sure this is good. The next thing is to solder the first optional solder. Um, so you want to solder this thing to pin 25. You can see the two spots marked uh, here. Uh, here I decided to solder it to the LED, but if your Pico has a USB-C connector, maybe soldering to the resistor uh, may be easier. So there is two revisions. Uh, if it says chip select, then it is a mandatory solder. If it says clock, then you need to solder it only if you care about the um, Game Boy camera. The second optional solder, you need to remove these two resistors. This is pin 24. Uh, these two components you completely remove. And this is what it should look like. This solder is needed if you want to access GBA safe game. If you don't care about GBA safe game, you can place in the resistor as drawn by the board. But if you do want to support a GBA safe game, then don't put in the resistor uh, on the board, but instead solder this connection. So these two pins are bridged. Uh, you, it doesn't matter which one you use, you can also connect to both of them and then solder to this point on the board. If you do the solder, do not put on the resistor. And this is what it should look like uh, when you're finished soldering, you have your board. This one is the revision three. The first optional solder says Pico clock with the white wire. If it says Pico chip select, then that is a mandatory solder. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed and good luck assembling your own.